Chapter 37 They talk for a little while longer about the things that have happened, wrapping the violence up in careful, delicate words so it feels less horrible. Melanie finds this interesting in spite of herself, that you can use words to hide things, or not to touch them, or to pretend that there's something different than they are. She wishes she could do that with her big secret. It seems like Miss Justineau thinks that Melanie must be sad because all those hungries got killed and is trying to make her feel better about it. Melanie is sad for them, a little, but she knows enough now to be sure that the hungries weren't really people anymore, even before they got killed. They were more like empty houses where people used to live. Melanie tries to reassure Miss Justineau, tries to show her that she's not so very sad about the hungries not even about the man who was singing the song, although it seemed to her that there was no reason at all for Sergeant Parks to shoot him. He was just sitting there on the bed, and it didn't look like he could even get up. All he could do was sing and look at his pictures. But the lady outside had looked harmless too, until Dr Caldwell screamed. It seemed like hungries could change very quickly, and you had to be careful all the time when you were close to them. I'll keep you safe, Miss Justineau says to Melanie now. You know that, right? I won't let any of them hurt you. Melanie nods. She knows that Miss Justineau loves her, and that Miss Justineau will try her best. But how can anyone save her from herself? <laughs>